day when I weave, I will need these supplies. My loom, my masking tape, my Sharpie, and a pair of scissors. I'm going to start by taking a piece of masking tape, putting it over the clear tape that's already on my loom. I don't want any tape to get on the cardboard part. And take that off. I'll take a Sharpie and write my name. And my class code. Now I'm done with the Sharpie. I'm done with the masking tape. Now I have my loom, and this is the back of my loom. My name stays on the back. I'm going to turn my loom over, and now Miss Harden will show you how to measure your string. Yes, these are labels that I had on my hand from the other class. From second grade finger weaving, you might remember, that's not for us. After I have my string wrapped around my hand, this is what I do. I need to create my loom. I'm going to take the end of the string and put it through this tooth right here so that there is just a little bit hanging off of the back. I'm going to come to the bottom where there is another tooth and when I make the next row I'm going to move the string around the tooth to come back to the top. This is what I don't do. I don't turn the loom over and go down the back. I don't want string covering up my name. I don't want string on the back. I only need string on the front, so I have to loop it around the tooth and do this until my string runs out. If it turns out that you don't have enough string and it's a little bit short, like maybe you don't have enough to do one or two teeth, that's okay. Your loom will still be big enough to weave on. Notice that my string is coming off of my hand. I just need to be careful to hold it on my hand as long as I can so that my string does not get tangled or turn into a knot. If I do get a knot in my string, then I need to show it to Miss Harden and she will either tell me to start over or she will help me get the knot out. So my string ended up coming off of my hand. I'm just being very careful when I unwind it to make sure it does not turn into a knot. Okay, so I am finished and it looks like I have a little bit of extra string left so I can leave it or I can just cut it shorter and throw away this piece of string. Now I have my loom and I'm ready to weave. 